Um, now it's a shame I will not come back to Australia this year, uh, or it's, there's no plans, uh, but you never know. Uh, I hopefully come back next year for the defend of the title. The 12 hour race was really exciting this year, and I enjoyed every lap, and I hope to do some more laps there. Uh, but uh, as, as you asked, I'm, I'm not plans. there are no plans at the moment to come uh, this year to, to Australia again. Uh, my recommendation is if you have a street car and you want to join the race, like you, sh you should have ceramic brakes. If you have a race car, um, I think, and with a profession team, it's of course a big advantage to have uh, carbon brakes there. If it's just a hobby team, it's much better to, to use the steel brakes even on the racetrack, but just in a race car. Um, it's very difficult to say. There is not only one point where where, where you can gain lap times. I think uh, if you are a successful racing driver, you have a big team behind you. That means you start working with your mechanics, with your engineers. You have to motivate them all the time. You have to have the right car. You have to work with the technique. Uh, and of course, you have to get everything out uh, of your car on the racetrack and you have to work a lot with, with data. You have to compare yourself with your teammates and uh, finally you need the talent to, to manage everything. If everything comes together, then I guess uh, then you have the chance uh, to be successful. Um, of course, uh, on my side, I also had the right piece of luck, uh, what you need uh, to, to win five-time DTM championships. I mean, the most important uh, moment in the race is uh, to get the jacket flag. Um, the best thing, if you get it first, then you made everything right. In my career, there was many points uh, where were really important uh, to gain on uh, in 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 yeah in, in my career because uh, when I start in Formula Ford, it was important to to be the best rookie in the year, to get uh, the support of. Uh, fought in that time and afterwards I won the championship in Formula 3 and this was the, this opens me the door to get in Formula 1 and um, then I had uh, some good years uh, with uh, in, in sports cars and um, I think the most important or the most uh, important decision in my career was to, to join Mercedes because for German driving for Mercedes-Benz is something special in 1991 when I got the offer that was really something special and I still appreciated uh, the offer from Norbert Haug to join the Mercedes-Benz family. Um, yeah, as a AMG ambassador I, I, I do uh, many different jobs. One of them is uh, being a, it's, uh, yeah, working as a development guy in in, uh, at new cars, and I'm very happy and very proud of it uh, that I was involved in the SLS road car and in the SLS uh, GT3 car. And uh, my personally favorite car is the SLS GT3 because this is uh, a car I just feel home when I get in and get uh, try to get the maximum lap times on the racetrack. And this is uh, every time, even after three years, uh, and I get in this car, I get a big smile in my head, in my face.